Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curious to Wax and this video is all about my fidget toy collection but um, they're actually sensory toys or you can also call them stem toys and I'm mainly doing this because if you show a fidget spinner in a video you might get more views for your channel so I thought I'd do it and also to tell people because I've been very dismayed that people are using the excuse of watching a fidget spinner video to insult autistic people which is very ignorant if you um, put an insult about somebody or about a group of people you're just showing on the internet you're just showing the world that you are an ignorant mean person so I don't know why you'd want to publicly declare to the whole world that you're ignorant and deliberately mean because that doesn't make sense really it really makes sense that you do that so stop using fidget spinners as an excuse to insult autistic people so this is a collection of most of my sensory toys of the ones I've gathered near me there probably are like one little ones just hidden in my house somewhere but these are the ones that I actually got organised because mum got me a organiser display she got me one of these so I've took some of the boxes out to show you the toys so I managed to tidy them up because they were just in a crate down there but I managed to tidy them up so this video is showing you all my um, fidget toys and stem toys so first of all we have the most recent one that I got is the fidget spinner which mum got me from the works so she got this peach leopard print one which is cool my opinion on fidget spinners is this it's not the best sensory toy I've ever had and it makes my hands sort of feel like this a weird sort of friction because you get the wind and the spin but then you get a weird sort of hummy friction type of thing and I wish motorbikes won't be so loud outside my house so it's not the best fidget toy because all it does is spin and you can do tricks if you want but so it's fun and I'm grateful that mum got it me but I want Fidget spinners, they're not the best ever thing ever invented at sensory toy wise, but this is my fidget spinner, so I should probably do that for my <laughs> for the thumbnail. Because uh, apparently if you put fidget spinner in your thumbnail, you get loads of views and I hope you get loads of views. That's really why I'm doing this, but also to show people some cool sensory toy ideas but maybe they, they hadn't seen before or hadn't picked up before or and they're also these make really cool presents as well so the other one I got uh, I found this because mum tied in my bedroom and it's this roller and with handles and it's got these balls on with knobbly bits and if you yeah. grab you can rub it vertically across your back like that it feels really good and you can actually if you hold it like this you can actually press quite hard so it's good for getting deep pressure or you can hold it horizontally but um, if you want to do your lower back then obviously you can use it on somebody else too so this is cool it feels good the next item that I picked up to show you is this one. This is a toy that my that my nephew had when he was still a little baby, and I really really like when I always reached for it. So I got my own one, and it's got lots of different coloured tubes that, and a big spotty cube in the centre, and it rattles, and it's got lots of colours and you put your hand in it like this and it's cool the 
essentially toys that I carry around with me to fidget with um, in restaurants mainly uh, um, my favourites that are small and discreet and don't make that much noise are these um, this size of transformer because they're really dinky and you can just chant they're really good I use them for when I go to restaurants so these size transformers are awesome and then I've got twist and lock blocks these were in a present from one of my form friends once and they're awesome so you can stretch it out and fold them up and make a cube and there's lots of different colours I've got this big, this is called the tangle and this is, the, um, I think this is the this is the biggest one you can buy but you can buy multiples of this one and because it unscrews and you can attach more together so they make one humongous giant tangle so I like this one it's good to wrap around yourself to give you like a cyberman hook yeah I do think I don't like how noisy it is though because it's the wrong kind of noise so it sort of creaks a bit but it's cool and it's you can also display it as modern art next thing I haven't actually got it out of the box yet but well it's basically this it's a ABC hourglass and the bottom is tin and it's an hourglass with lots of beads in and they're all different colours so I got that one now this one is the ocean drum and it's this tray and it's got beads in and it, if you close your eyes it's like the sound of the ocean why I really like that because it sounds like that ocean and it's really cool then I've got this which I made this at Artscape as it was one of the workshops and it's basically about it's four snap bands and we glued them into this um, fake fair so yes you can wrap it around your arm and it's very and um, it's cool then there's a random penguin that and um, this was in the pub one time i went to see my brother in london with family and we went in the pub at christmas and they had plushies behind the counter and i i got them to get me the plushie because I collect plushies and I love them. And the next item in this red box that I've got next to me is the Inside Out My Busy Box. And it's got a story, then a mat, and it's got all the figures from Inside Out. And I got this because um, I thought it was cool because it came here a lot of the other characters that they haven't really made figures of so yeah there's that then in this box there's some medals 
I made this at Artscape as well and it's just fishnet tights with some plastic balls in and um, pipe cleaners. And um, yeah, a big like you thread these plastic balls onto like sort of a massive pipe cleaner thing and it bends and stuff. So that's cool. Random keychain that's not actually essential. Random BB 8. Now these are the transformers that I get. And this one is Steel Jewel. Then this one is Grimlock. And he transforms into a dinosaur, which is pretty awesome. Then we've got some random plushies. And then this is a giraffe that I got. And you just Nom 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 nom. So yeah. Another. Oh yeah, this is a talking one of that talking things. So you can do a Benedict Cumberbatch impression. And then I've got this one, which was a comic relief one. That pretty much does a Donald Trump impression. Uh, I also got one of these pin impression things. This in pink from Target. It's not that. So, mine's orange. So I got a pin impression thing. So it is cool. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. Got that kind of box. Then I've got a um, chopstick challenge and pick up and stack these little blocks with your pair of chopsticks. I've got some modo and this is the um, dough that you need about and it releases a, a aromatherapy smell so I've got sleep and I've got travel, calm, um, thing. Yeah, so that's the mode. And then I've got some Star Wars juggling balls and the Death Star juggling balls. Another random plushie for a bear I got from the National Space Centre. This heart that is also I've had this a whale. And it just wolf whistles for me. Then there's this wiggly worm and this made out of wood. And yeah, I am lo keep looking at my laptop because I've moved my camera down a bit to forget. And then I got these um, tangles from the wigs. So I got these different colours. These are just the, the classics. Tangled Junior Classics. So I think... Yeah, so I'll pet these colours. 
show you what they look like if I could get them out of the box. There we go. So, this is your basic tangle and you can wear it as a bracelet. You wear it on your wrist and it looks cool and you just, you can shape it and twist it about and tangle it. And I think it's better than a fidget spinner because, well, it doesn't like make as much noise and it, you can more discreet because discreet you can just have it in your hand uh, you're not doing that the whole time. And the real, they come in really cool colours and they also come in different textures. And there's also some posh ones you can get that are like got crystals on in different textures and they look like jewelry so Tangle is an awesome product I really like it it's better than fidget spinners I'm not sponsored by the way by any of these products that I'm showing yet I'm just showing you my collection so let's just tidy up a bit while we are about I've started watching Rick and Morty and it's awesome and I get to do Rick and Morty fan art and I've also um, entered the Troll Hunters fan art contest so I don't know if I'll win because there's some really good entries but at least I've had a go you have to be in it to win it So the next item on my collection is this and it's a tube of water and it's got this sort of squidgy ball in and it's got glitter in so you turn it round and it gets stuck and then flopped and all the glitter goes through the ball and it's really fun. So that's that and it's awesome. I've also got a lightsaber. So there will be flashing lights. So if you have any problems with seizures then um, you probably want to stop the video. Or get somebody. So there will be flashing lights later on in this video because I've got more light up toys but this does this and it's a lightsaber and I got it from um, Artsky so that's cool and it looks awesome in the dark when you weave it about so what I have in this box I've got Puzzle Mania um, cake and he's 
think that's this one. Is that this one? Yeah, I think it is. Because it's a robot guy and he starts off as a person and then, um, yeah, can turn him into a cube. And that's the puzzle. I think it's that one because I can't see a face on this one. So, yeah, I have this thing. That's cool. I have this, which um, is this 3D puzzle, and there's a ball bearing in it, and you have to guide the ball bearing around the track. And it's really fun now. So, so you go to the start bit, which is the three ramps. Get, shake it to get the ball bearing on the star and then you can go in the orange bit and then you just have to move the ball bearing around the track without it falling off and it's really fun so I've got that one and I've got a little one of that too then this so uh, random Mario put it together thing. Then I got the nails puzzle, which has two bent nails, and you have to um, separate them and then see if you can put them together again. I got this one, which I love. I first found this at Artscape, so. What you have to do is you have to get one um all these nodules all the same colour on like both sides. So say one side is yellow and then the other side is all blue. That's kind of the goal with this. But it's really fun just to move the nodules about without solving the puzzle but it's a really hard puzzle so this is really cool and fun so I really like that one then this is a Houdini magic gift box this is um, what something I got in the generation something box was it generation Q or something but then their box finished and that was the best monthly subscription and I just gave it up so so you have to open that box to get that, that money So basically, once you've opened a box, you can put like a bit of money or, or like a note in it. And how does this word work? Ah, uh, yeah.
so basically it works with it's meant to work with magnets you're meant to push down on one end and then the magnets are meant to release which there we go there we go and you could put money in there and see if they can figure out how to open the box I don't think that's so it's kind of not essential to it but it was put in here anyway but I don't know if I keep this because it's a bit rubbish maybe I'll give it to my nephew I'm not sure, maybe not no, I do know if I keep this one. Anyway, anyway, the next thing is this, um, it's another robot, um, another wooden light robot -y type puzzle cube. You get, um, Dracula and you have to turn him into a cube. This place, it does that one. And then I've got coloured Yahtzee, but I haven't opened yet. So it's Yahtzee and you have to throw these triangles on your turn and then you see how many of that colour you got. So there's that. Then I've got two packets of playing cards with cats on I have this gridlock puzzle and it comes like put together in this frame and then tip the pieces out and you have to put it back in the frame kind of thing That was another from the, I think, Generation Q box. Because it was an awesome subscription box and there's loads of puzzle, puzzle cubes and things in. Then these menus from Ravensburgers, these are like surprise boxes. And this one is that a little game with little monkey counters this word is called find the monkeys so you just put a monkey on your grid and then the person has to ask questions about its location to find the other person's monkey. So there's that game. Then there is Pixel Bricks Pac Man person. A pack of little playing cards. This, which is awesome, I got this from Vintage Fair and it's a merry toast puzzle so they've all got a glass and you have to get the little um, pieces that represent drinks into their glasses so they can drink up. So this is called the merry toast puzzle. Then I've also got this puzzle ball. So you, you take it apart and then you have to piece together the ball in the right order. So those are like 
some of the puzzle ones and I've got to load more in the next box. I've also got this pack of puzzles. So there's this one. This one. This one and this set is called Brain Bogglers and it's ten pound at the works and you get a sheet of all the solutions in it. So they're good if you want to solve the puzzle or if you just want something to fit with. And yeah, I know I haven't opened it yet, but it's really cool and I think that's really good value. In this box we've got the squidgies. We've got this squidgy Air Max from... Um, Secret Life of Pets. I won that in a competition. Now so we've got this guy and his don't know what he is, but he's got to squeeze him like that and that's really fun. Then I've got this pig one. And it's a vibrating pig one. I've got some rubber snakes, jellyfish. Squidgy squid. With his turn to call. These are squidgy mouths. Ooey gooey. Oh, so this is an octopus. The ooey gooey animals. So that's what that is. The jellyfish is also a squidgy mouth. The new thing in this box is this brush, and you can just like just brush your skin, and it's actually quite nice for brushing your arm hairs into a neat row. So yeah. I think this is the last box of goodies. 
they're now, I don't need that, that's a box that present came in. So we have a starlight lamp, LED starlight colour changing lamp and so I need to work out whether this is any good but this hangs up and it changes colour apparently. And then I've got this baton, it's got cool sparkly ribbon, you can spin it. It's nice and sparkly, is that hollow? Does that count as hollow? I don't know if that counts as hollow, because I get confused, but ah, it's all sparkly. And then I got this. Now this um, flashes and makes colours. So it is. It's so cool. It's really cool at when it's dark. And it's a really nice cooling fan too. I love that. It's my brain tube, which I already did a video about, which got quite a few views actually. So yeah, I got this from the National <coughs> Space Centre. <coughs> Pretty Doctor Who reader. Then I've got this, which is a stick with ball bearings, tiny ball bearings and lots of glitter and you can watch all the glitter and the ball bearings and that move about within the tube because they sort of come down the tube in like a spiral It's really pretty. So that. I also have a stylophone which I got um, just impulsively and I haven't actually played it but I guess you could do some um, cool Doctor Who type stuff with that. Um, I've got this. Rip. Is that fairy wand? Yeah. It doesn't work. Oh, it does. Something happened then. Did it work? Well, if, if if this worked, it would be um optic fiber thing. Ah, there we go. So. Ah, it's working. It's working. The lighting up, it's a bit knackered. It is working. See, it has power. Well, there we go. Just needs to charge up a bit. So, I assume. Seems to work better when I hold it up. Yeah. 
was gradually working, but it was only about like three quid, so it's not that good. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's better. It's got green on now. You can see that. Um, like blue. Now it's flash, flash orange, so it's okay. Then, so it's that. Oh yeah, got um this one. This is a shiny stick too. Rainbow. You can't really tell on this through the camera. Flash is green, flash is orange, and ah, oh, so it's that. Okay, I got a necklace, and this flashes if you press it, but then I can't turn it off once I've pressed it. Well, you can. But it's really hard to turn off when you press it, but it's a necklace with a star on the end. And then I've got this, which is really cool. So it's one of these things. And then, where's the... Where's the switch gone? Oh, there it is. So, this. Lights up to obviously these items work best when it's dark, but I like this because of the balance. It feels really nice to hold it when it's balancing about. My, I think I've showed it as this one. That is my collection of sensory toys and fidget toys. So, yeah, so shall we go back to the fidget spinner? Which seems really boring now. I've showed you all my favorite sensory toys. But yeah, that is... That is that video done. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. Yay!